entrepreneurial clients come to me and they ask, what marketing tools do they absolutely need for their startup? There are five specific ones that I tell them are key. Uh, number one is a solid logo. Your logo will be everywhere. Your logo determines the look and the feel of everything that you do, and it can either make your company feel professional or like a run-of-the-mill, out-of-your-garage business. Um, and the truth is you could run your business out of the garage and have a gorgeous logo and no one will ever doubt the credibility or the legitimacy of your business. So number one is that logo. You've got to have a good one. Um, second would be a business card. As entrepreneurs, we should be meeting people all the time. Um, and when you do meet people, make sure you have a business card. Don't be shoving it in their faces all the time but you always wanna have one ready for making those connections because you can't count on the people that you meet having one to give you. Um, the third one would be a website. As soon as, think about yourself, if you hear about a company, where do you go to research them? Immediately you're going on the web and Googling their name or putting in a website. If someone doesn't have a website, it makes you feel like, who are these people? Do they even have a real company? Is this some kind of a scam? So just buying your domain name on GoDaddy and setting up a one page, you know, holding with your logo on it is enough, but you've got to have that website. And going along with the website, having an email with your URL. You can have a great company, but if you're sending emails from uh, Sarah at gmail.com, that sets off some red flags, like how long has Sarah really been in this business? Does Sarah really have a company? If it's Sarah from Marketing For You or Sarah from Cupcakes.com, even if you don't have everything else together, they can see, okay, this is, she really does own this business, there's something happening, and it, um, it validates what you're doing. And the last thing would be having a business address. And uh, just getting a P.O. box is fine, but make sure it's one where they're willing to accept mail that comes to, um, say your mailbox number is number 30, that it can come to suite 30. Uh, so you have that professional, it appears that you have a business address, even if you're working from home. That's an important part of it. So those are the five marketing tools that I definitely recommend for every startup.